Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is The Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. A new mobile app is being launched to promote retail businesses in downtown Kansas City during construction along the streetcar route from Union Station to the River Market. The app, called Open for Business KC Streetcar, is free and available for download onto Android and Apple devices. By shopping and making purchases at participating shops, restaurants, and other attractions, app users may earn points and become eligible to win prizes, including a $5,000 grand prize. For more information about the Open for Business KC Streetcar app, visit kcstreetcar.org. The public is invited to the dedication of Swope Soccer Village's new Phase 2 improvements. That's on Friday, September 12th at 4.30 p.m. The complex now has a total of nine fields, three with natural grass and six with artificial turf, plus other amenities like new restrooms and a concession stand. The city also built new sidewalks along 63rd Street so residents and visitors can walk to the soccer complex from the zoo or the Southeast Community Center. Swope Soccer Village is sold out already for its first fall season. This fall, the complex will be used by 170 different soccer clubs, bringing in 16,000 players from both Missouri and Kansas, as well as hosting tournaments for girls' soccer teams from 13 states. It's an almost $20 million project, a public-private partnership with funding from the City of Kansas City, Missouri, Jackson County, and Sporting KC. For more information, you can follow at Swope Soccer via Twitter. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. September is a great time to be outdoors, and KC Parks offers lots of activities from which to choose. Celebrate the commencement of youth soccer season and the completion of Phase 2 construction for Swope Soccer Village on Friday, September 12th at 4.30 p.m. The complex is located at 63rd and Lewis Road in beautiful Swope Park. Back in November of 2013, Phase 1 of the Village opened in time to host the Big 12 Conference Soccer Championship. Today, the Village features six additional full-size synthetic soccer fields, upgraded restrooms, concessions, and parking. A new art sculpture, Triple Bloom, by local artist Jake Balcom of Metal Design, commissioned as part of the city's 1% for Art program, will also be unveiled. Follow at Swope Soccer via Twitter for details. Art and music combine for a fun weekend, September 12th to 14th, along the banks of Brush Creek. Stroll the creekside walkways from the plaza eastward and enjoy artists painting landscapes and cityscapes for a juried competition. On Sunday, from 3 to 7 p.m., local bands perform in the Tice Park Amphitheater. The concerts are free. Bring lawn chairs and refreshments and enjoy. Visit brushcreekartwalk.org for the complete lineup. Support our City of Fountains. 88 paintings of local fountains by 67 artists are available for purchase in an online auction running September 5th through 25th at kcfountains.org. The paintings can be viewed online and in person at the Buttonwood Art Space located at 3013 Main. Half of the proceeds from the auction will go toward the Wish Upon a Fountain campaign to renovate fountains in need of critical repair. Is your family up for an adventure? If so, make plans to camp out Friday night, September 19th in Swope Park. KC Parks will supply basic camping equipment and organize hikes, food, music, archery, canoeing, fishing, and more. The program, called Wonders of Outdoor Wildlife, is $30 per family and has limited registration. Details are at wondersofwildlife.org or call 816-513-7657. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on the calendar or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Did you know there's a way to get answers from KCPD without calling 911? The number 234-5111 is available for non-emergency inquiries. 
Communications Supervisor Jeannie Rast explains. The number 234-5111 is answered or monitored on a 24-hour basis here in the communications unit. Whenever they call in, they could ask things um, about illegally parked cars, about a stealing that might have happened at their house. They don't know when it happened or who was the suspect. Um, a noise disturbance if there's not a fight involved, but it's a large crowd. Stolen autos. If they don't know who's taken the stolen auto, they do have a time span, let's say quite a while or overnight, and they don't know who the suspect is, also that kind of call. 311 takes care of calls for service that would pertain to animal health calls. Um, the illegally parked cars also, if they're a nuisance or abandoned, they take those. But with us, we're more of an informational, um, where you could call, a number where you can call and ask any type of question. We do get some calls where they are not police related, but we will make references or possibly answer the question if we know the answer. The 911 calls come in to the call center and they are the prior priority. So those calls are answered first. And then once all the 911 calls are answered, it would go to that informational line of 234 51111. And that way, um, it kind of gives a higher priority to the 911 callers. Some of the things that are asked to you on the number that are non-emergency, if there's a race downtown or an event downtown or anywhere in the city, if any of the streets are going to be closed, they can call. Um, a lot of times, too, if there's storm-related questions, um, people are trying to see what areas might have problems um, to check on loved ones. That might be the number to call would be the 234-5111. The 234-5111 number is the non-emergency number for the police. The city also provides information from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday at their 311 number or 513-1313. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. It's hot outside, so pay extra attention to your pets during summer heat blasts. The City of Kansas City, Missouri requires owners to provide adequate shade and shelter for their animals or they will be cited for animal cruelty, a law which carries a severe penalty. During extremely hot weather, owners should keep pets inside and limit their time outside for bathroom breaks. You should also increase food and water for pets that do spend time playing outside and never leave a pet alone in a vehicle because vehicles overheat very quickly in this weather. To report animal cruelty or any other animal related issues, contact the city's 311 call center. After hours or on weekends, please call 911. Enjoy hundreds of classic cars, muscle cars, hot rods, and more at the annual KCI Cruise Night. That's on Saturday, September 13th. The fun starts at 3 p.m. in front of the Ambassador Building near the KCI Airport. The City Aviation Department plans this event as a fundraiser for the city's Combined Charities Program, which supports a variety of local, regional, and national charities. Prizes are donated by airport tenants and area businesses, and $1 raffle tickets are sold for a chance to win while giving to a great cause. Bring your lawn chairs or stroll around to appreciate the customization and chrome on display. Kids' activities will be available too. For details and directions to the event, visit flykci.com cruise. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the weekly report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.